Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with another Power Rangers theory video. This is a pseudo sequel follow up to my review of the Kyoujo vs. GoBusters movie where I discussed some ways we could adapt it for the Dino team up we're going to be doing. Because I had one theory that kind of stems from this topic, but let's talk about this topic first. It's kind of a, you know, basically a fan theory that's been thrown around just like everyone was like, George is going to be season 2 because they're both animals, confirmed! So it was something I've seen floated recently and I thought about making an idea, or an idea, I was thinking of making an idea. I was thinking about making a video about the idea of this, but then once I rewatched the movie I had another idea which, just to be clear, this is in no way grounded in any real rumors or anything, or anything concrete. This is pure fun speculation and theory, theorizing, theoring, theoring, theorizing, um, niece, just gonna be for fun. And, you know, I don't think most of my ideas will happen, but I think it's just fun to discuss, fun for you guys to let me know what you think, what are your theories, do you think I'm wrong, do you think I'm right, do you think I'm both? in two different timelines. Anyway, but so the idea is after Beast Morphers, because we know we're getting season one, which is now, season two next year, however that may look, and then we know that they have their contract renewed with Nick for at least another year, because they oddly renewed it for three years. I'm not really so much going to talk about that, whether I think it's going to be a one season wonder or anything, because for all we know, they could like re-up the contract next year and add an additional year, so this is more kind of speculating, like, would Ryu Soldier be the series that comes after this. Um, and, cause it's weird cause we're in a weird spot where we go in weird order now. We're not, we used to be lockstep with Sentai where, you know, I, I think I mentioned this, I don't remember what video it was recently, but you know, as soon as, I remember like, you would finish the Sentai finale and then just, not too long after you'd be watching the premiere of the Power Rangers equivalent. And now we're kind of, um, you know, behind, we're not really behind, but you know what I mean? We are, but I mean there's no reason for us to be, you know, lockstep with them. But the point is, is that we used to be really close, but now we have the two years, and then we skipped around, because Go Busters was before the Kyoujo footage, and so we're in a weird spot. So anything's possible, because think right now, Beast Morpher Season 1's airing, and Ryu Soldier's airing, but next year, we'll be in Beast Morpher Season 2, and Ryu Soldier will be done, and we'll be at the next Sentai, maybe. And then, you know, the year after that, we'll be and a two Sentai after Ryu Soldier. So we'll have time for them to complete their footage for us to use. And you know, I'm kind of mixed on the idea if they would, because I do want to see Ryu Soldier as PR because like I want like the figures and stuff, and right now as of this recording I'm not too into Ryu Soldier, so I'm like I want to see something better done with the, the suits. So I do want to see it eventually. I think that it would be another case of too soon here. Because then we would just get wave two of people that don't know about Sentai that would be like, Oh, you're just doing dinos again. Like, we have to deal with those people again. Um, some people pointed out that maybe they'd want to do it for the first fully Hasbro season. Because this one's kind of a hybrid where it's under Hasbro, but there's a lot of Neo Saban holdover. So, like, they thought that maybe they would do a dino one because it's very iconic, you know, of... Power Rangers and MMPR and starting their era more officially and concretely with a dino season. And you know, obviously we know that the dinos appeal and both Dino Charge and Carriage Your Toy Sales did well. Um, like I said, I would like to see it, and I think if we would get it, I don't think that means everything else is out the window. I mean, I don't necessarily think it will happen, but I, if we're going to keep adapting them, I would like to see all of them done at some point that we skipped. Um, but I think the most notable one I feel that I want to see is Cure, uh, Cure Ranger, that's already been done. Q Ranger, I always get those two mixed up now. Um, and I don't think Q Ranger would be off the table. Like, for whatever reason, if we did Ryu Soldier next, that doesn't mean we couldn't do Q Ranger after that, or 3 after that, because like I said, Go Busters was a total surprise. And I think that that's too marketable of one to pass up, but this isn't about Q Ranger. Some people bring up that it would be such a big cast for them, but if they keep the, you know, the creature suits, then that's only voice acting for some of them. So that could be a whole other discussion. But my point is, is that if we were to do Rhea Soldier, I don't think that means Q Ranger would be for all time out of the realm. That was the kind of the point I was trying to make with that. But I was thinking about this when I was rewatching the movie, which is the point of this video, about um, how we could adapt it. And this is like a crazy, almost just like a fan fiction pitch theory, which I don't think would happen. But I think it would be cool if Ryu Soldier was somehow the next one after Beast Morphers, if we used the Triple Dino team up to tease it. Because uh, I basically, in the Kyoujo vs. GoBusters movie, there's a really nonsense plot where they send the Kyoujo's back after they brainwash them to destroy their dino partners and the dinosaurs to destroy Dino Hope. 
It just makes no sense. Like, what is dino? Just, I'm not even gonna go about it about it again. It's toku nonsense. It means nothing. I had an idea in my review video talking about, like, well, maybe they would send the, the Dino Charge Rangers back to their history to take out the dinosaurs to set the timeline right. But I really couldn't figure out why the villains would want to do that. And then I was thinking, what if we had the uh, Re Soldier series set on the Dino Charge Earth? And so we sort of adapt a loose version of their mythology, and like the reason that this Order of Knights has survived to the point that we have rangers is because dinosaurs have always been around and have continued to be worshipped because they're still alive on Dino Charge's Earth. So then you have the plot of the crossover where a villain somewhere from the Power Rangers Re Soldier is the one that gathers the different villains uh, for this crossover in an attempt to send the Dino Charge Rangers back to take out the dinosaurs like it should have been all along so that the Ryu soldiers were never created. Like, a little bit, I don't think they would do this, I think this is a little too convoluted for what they usually go for, but I think that could be a cool way to tease it. Like, I was thinking of it basically like our version of Super Sendai Strongest Battle, where this team up would either be after the finale or near it, and we would use it to tee up the next season and tee up hype. Like, I was thinking you could use Geizorg as the one that's like controlling um, Neo Gryphazor and Neo Zeltrax, and he wants to destroy these dino teams or use these dino teams to go back to the dino charge past and destroy the dinosaurs so that they're not forever worshipped by this knighthood or whatever and to basically stop the creation of the Power Rangers equivalent of the Ryu soldiers and then we could use like a couple of the Ryu soldiers there to try to stop them like we could use green and black and the footage of them fighting Geizorg to tease it. I mean, I don't think they would do that, but I think it would be really cool if they did. Like, I think it's a really cool way to generate hype and get a lot of eyeballs on PR. Like, we're doing this awesome team up with all the dinosaur teams, and we're getting the original Jason back, and then they tease it, you know, with the... And you, you kind of leave it a secret till the very end, and then the very last bits when you reveal they're trying to stop this future ranger team from existing. And then, you know, you have the green and black rangers as a teaser, and then you'd be like, coming soon, Power Rangers, Dino Force. But it's spelled F-O-U-R, because it's the fourth, the fourth Dino series. But, it's just kind of a crazy idea I wanted to share with you guys. I don't think it will happen. Um, and like, even, I think that I personally would want them to wait a little while to do Rio Soldier. I would much rather see at least one other adaption done first. But if they were going to do this, I think it would be a really cool idea that would sort of tie everything to the lore and uh, a good way to sort of do a teaser of excitement. Because I think that was kind of a cool, smart idea that they did with the Super Sentai Strongest Battle, is you get this excitement going, like, this is a big event, some of your faves are returning, they're gonna be fighting, you know, everybody watch, and then while they're watching, you're like, hey, we got this cool new Sentai coming out, uh, if you want to see more about these characters, that's the next, uh, the next season. And I think that would be something really cool to do, and it's kind of just an oddly coincidental timing that we have the potential for another Dino PR series as well, right around when we're doing this. Plus, I think it would make it seem less weird to do this team up, because like I said, it is, based on what the way we usually do things, it's kind of weird that we would be doing this dino team up and skipping um, Ninja Steel over. Like, if it was just MMPR again, it would make sense, because it's like, oh, nostalgia, but it's kind of a weird one. It would give it meaning. I think it would be a cool way to tee it up, a cool way to tee up the Ryu Soldier's mythology, make use of the Dino Charge Earth. I think it would be neat. What do you guys think? Do you want to see Ryu, Ryu Dilger? Ryu Dilger. Ryu Soldier adapted. When do you want to see it adapted? Do you like this idea? Do you hate it? Do you have your own idea? Do you have no ideas? Just let me know in the comments. You know, we'll all talk about it and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell for notifications for all my Power Rangers news and toy reviews. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.